Hello and welcome back to another episode of Banishers Ghost of New Eden. My name is Saikon and today we're continuing the blind playthrough on the hardest difficulty. It's time for us to explore the mine, get uh, Sebastian to finally confess up what the hell is going Earth on is clear. here. We go deeper. And get that Ultra Spectre that uh, you are waiting for. So, our general path is clear. Got that? No more chains blocking our way, which means we should be able to go through here. I can't believe Sebastian lied to us all. To Helen. Is this why the creature is angry? I would be. Perhaps. Sebastian wants Pennington to be punished at all costs, and I'm not sure why. So impressive. Good. We are getting a little bit closer to the actual source of the problem. Where are we now? Oh, there is a shrine. I like my shrines. I like me a good shrine. Miners, left to die in sickness and starvation. Helen was right, this was an atrocity, but she blamed the wrong man. Good, we want to get right over there, which means we got to do some jumping, jumping. enough is this going to be our shrine maybe shall we Yes, fantastic. Like I said, I love me a good shrine. Ten bonus spirit points. Fabulous. Nothing here that we can currently do in order to break the chain. Oh, well, whoa, whoa. shouldn't speak that soon. Down there is the weak link. Hi, still impressive. The sight of them makes me wonder if their resistance was even worth it in the end. You're standing amidst their bodies with nothing but silence for your answer. What do you think? Yep, I had a similar thought. They were definitely in a troublesome situation. That 
that body. These must be Sebastian's remains. Curious. The priest said he was the last to die. Said he shot himself when hope ran out. That someone stove this fella's head in with a pike. This was no romantic suicide. This was bloody murder. Plus, there's no ghost tie. Look, the mark from before. No ghost tie. So why did he not pale and become a spectre like the rest? Sebastian told Helen a story. His prominent chest wound was part of it, but it's a fiction. He spun her a lie. I'm starting to doubt the lieutenant's ghost. I think it's an effigy of Sebastian sent to get close to Helen, maybe even to Pennington. Not a spectre, something more elaborate. But what and why? Interesting. Sebastian is a doll, stuffed with stolen memory made by whatever lurks down here. Helen relies on her husband. The truth might be her. Whatever about Helen. First we need to find the doll maker. Well, a more intelligent and more scary ghost. I like how they build up tension. It's not just any ghost. A more sinister, more evil version. Did we miss a few? Watch out! Spectre possession! Dodge it if you can. All right, let's go. Oh, oh, we took two. That's not good. They second here. Lost in the dark. And one by one they died. We'll soon be out. Together. A little boy in me would appreciate you staying close. Good, we're moving up. Getting all the loot that we want. And then it's time to go further down. Look at that. The mine seems to be never ending. I think it's very well done. Similar to the uh, trial. So there's clearly there are kind of main quests. Gone, but I swear I smell it anyway. There are definitely main quests. The Scourge of the Settlers with uh, Thick Height or Thick Neck, what her name was. Then the whole judgment trial and then uh, the mine. These seem to be like the must do main quests with a lot of scorches. So this here definitely will be one as well. Which means a lot of scorch accretion, which is one of the major uh, ingredients that we still need.
moving deeper into the mine. We're getting close. And those spectral same shelter. If you need a fire to warm you up. Oh yeah, I need that. Oh spectral. Voices the past. Waiting to be held. Okay. Those spectral stains are becoming they more and more. They left me here to rot. They'll not have me. These chains, an echo, I think. Will you find me? Speak to me. Please let me go, What? What are you? Unchain me, Bennington. You. No. No. You will return and unchain me. Paddington! I won't let you rest until you set me free! Whatever skulks down here, Pennington's presence gives it life. Another ghost rallying the wrath of lesser spectres to its cause. This is about the agony of Deborah Comenius. Aye, and the guilt of the people of New Eden. Okay, I'm not sure if there are only two outlets, but let's try. The answer is clear, there were more. All right, one, two. There's one down there. Sometimes if you follow with the strains, you will find where they lead you. Like this one up here, in, in the middle of the wall. That's not helpful. I mentioned it a couple of times already. Oh, okay. There we go, there's number three. As I was about to say, I mentioned it a couple of times before, whoever came up with the idea of this should have been fired. Farewell, weed. Good. Before we do that, though, let's rest, get our spirits up. And we're good. So, in terms of inventory, let's just double check something real quick. So we got an amulet, right? And that amulet just needs one more upgrade, three scorch accretions. Like I said, these are the ones that we are missing. We got three nest silks uh, that were missing, and we got another three scorch accretions, unless we're switching over to um, this here, which is my second favorite rifle, or my favorite rifle, uh, which would 
uh, need one more Scorch Accretion, Elite Gem, and then three Nest Silks. So for now we're staying with what we have. Outfit first, Amulet uh, second, then Rifle. Uh, I'm not sure if we're getting enough Scorch Accretion before the game ends, but we're going to find out. What we are going to do is rest up and then give it a go. Okay, time to find that Scorch and explore a little bit further. This looks like it's heading very deep into the mines and deeper into the mines, specifically further downwards means likely lower. And this here, I was exactly right. We got a nice little, a nice little treasure. Still don't know what the witch stones are for, but we're going to find that out. They're definitely not used for any upgrades so far. I need to find the key to open this. stuck with not having a key. That's not great. Did we get it? No. Of course we did not. So how do we progress from here? Uh, from here, how do we get a key? Clearly there is a massive chain in the way. And we can all agree on that. Find the entry hiding in the mines. This guy here could have had a key. Problem is keys are not being shown correctly when you pick them up. That's a big just quality of life issue. So at least I am never really sure when you can open certain doors and when you cannot. This is also rather strange. Just a dead end. Hmm. I mean, listen, it says find uh, the entity hiding in the mines. This here looks like a way forward, but maybe not like the only way forward. The chains are definitely an annoyance and I wish we could make them go away, but not seeing any weak point at this point uh, at this moment. Like I said, deeper into the mines, potentially good. Okay. Okay, that's definitely the fight. Can you see it? Not yet. Have you returned? 
if we do. Then I will crawl and climb and knock and the captain will taste his own medicine. You're Deborah, right? Pennington had you arrested and clapped you in chains. A broken puppy locked away Forgotten, down in the dark, lift the heavy chains from her, free me! If we do, will you talk with us? Chat chat then. Here it comes. Okay, that's not it. She must have a weakness. Yeah, she certainly does. Shake, this is useless. The chains are coming undone. This is your chance. Her last strike weakened the chains. Free her. Uh, why would I do that? So close. The chains are coming undone. This is your chance. Overhead, the roof is crumbling. Damn it! Her last strike weakened the chains. Free her! Way that she goes uh, out as easy as that. Give me a sign. Come at me. I'll beat you all. Go! Hurry! Yeah, I'm trying. I've got you. Back down to him! I'll destroy you!
get this next time. I can see the weaker links. of all of you. Diamond. I'll kill you, and they will be the next. You pay for this. You will all pay. the last chain. Oh, at a bad, at a bad spot. One more chain. Interesting fight, by the way. Going again, huh? It's over. Go in peace. No peace. No pardon. Naught but darkness and decay. No. All this must stop and you must stop it. Dark decay and the maddest words of the worst of men. Whose words? Pennington's? The worst of men. I'll... 
when the maddening silence becomes the darkest night. The faintest voice is welcome as the dawn. Deborah. Wow, what a nice fight. I've had enough mines for a lifetime. Can we go now? Alright, needed to take a short break after that exciting battle, so we just got her down. And boy boy, that was a nice little Scourge battle. Plus we got three Scourge accretions, and we found out that all of this was a huge setup. She is unhappy about being chained here forever. I think this is now more release than anything else. So let's leave the mines. <clears throat> we unfortunately haven't found all of the minor dolls, but it is what it is. What was that thing? A puppeteer. Every dead thing we'd met was controlled by its anguish. Sebastian especially. The miners were wronged, but Pennington's dereliction of Deborah is what caused all this. So what now? Pennington had Deborah locked up screaming. When she was dead, he ignored her. He's a disgrace. But Helen Priest is enthralled to a trickster spirit. She can't be trusted either. Well, eventually, we'll get to take sides. <laughs> that is true. Helen isn't a great choice either. Pennington isn't a great choice either. Both of them are absolute garbage human beings, but Pennington is the bigger garbage human being for taking the harsh situation and essentially stating that it is necessary to kill every single one of them. I mean, I get it. If there's an outbreak, you've got to take action. There is no question about that. However, that being said... What is it? A rush after the fight. Oh, pass. It's Sebastian, isn't it? You know I'm me, right? That I'm no puppet. Aye. Do you, though? Aye. My head may say different, but I know it in my heart. So, point being, um, if there is an outbreak, I fully understand that you got to take uh, precautions. Like, there is no question about that. However, However, there are precautions and then there is absolute unnecessary um, malevolence where essentially you could have put all of the infected together um, and seen if some of them uh, survive and the non-infected you could have split in small groups so much so that uh, there is fresh no air. At last. Not a consistent you outbreak. You did well down there, young man. Thank you, master. Anyways, I digress. Well, this is a nice um, place back into... Uh, back into our home here. Well, not necessarily home. Uh, I mistook this for the main city. Potentially not that. Okay, off we go. No, it is the main city. Yeah, I was right. Okay, cool. This is mutiny. It is justice. Justice long denied. Wait. Thought you'd been killed in the mines. Soon will all lie dead in the mines. Neither one more word, nor a move from you. The mines are cleansed of their madness. Which is more than I can say for this room. You banished the thing in a pit. Truly. It's gone. Aye. The puppeteer is no more. 
The siege is lifted. Don't get excited. You're still up to your neck in shite. You've still to answer for what you did, and what you did not. I do not answer to civilians, nor to mutineers. You will answer to the dead. Once a woman in chains cried out and you did not listen. This is why you're cursed. Confess. Your future, and the future of many, depends on it. I'll confess there is no future. I'll confess I led us here to make our final stand. And we still stand. To that, I'll confess, and claim the credit. We fall one by one. Then we weep, we rage, but we stay loyal and true. Even the widows must stay true. Guilt eats you from the inside. You knew you should have braved the mines. You couldn't even bring yourself to do it. I choose to die in the light. There is nothing in the pit but darkness. There's more to this. An older guilt. A deeper fear. You may be to blame for the tragedy in the mines, Pennington, or you may not. But the puppeteer wanted you dead. Some years back, you accused a local woman of witchcraft. You locked her up. The puppeteer was quite angry about that. Fairfax Haskell, too, played a part in the killing of Deborah Comenius. He faced up to his wrongs. Now you will face up to yours. At last the die stopped rolling, my number has come up. I'll tell it now. I'll tell it all. When you slandered her, you knew there'd be a witch hunt. Why'd you do it? There was no slander. It was true. She was corrupt. She was evil. And she was a school teacher. Someone had to think of the children. It's horse shit, but he seems to believe it. We're getting closer to the truth. Deborah was no witch. The good and fearful folk of New Eden turned on her to protect themselves, and so did you. You recognized her in the puppeteer, didn't you? I'm sorry, puppeteer? That's what was in the mines, wasn't it? And you knew, didn't you? How long? For how long have you known? What I know, and you do not, would fill a library. Sebastian's sway over Helen is dangerous. If she takes charge, so does he. But Pennington is depraved and merits no saving. What's your thinking? I have faith in Helen Priest. Step down, Captain. Perhaps you may begin to wash your guilt away. Do what you must. And face the consequences, cast the die. I will. All right. You failed, Captain. As an officer. As a man. You brought a curse upon the people of New Eden. No. The fort needs a leader without blood on her hands. I'll do it. I'll place the blame where it belongs. How Marif, how Gunjo. Life to the living. Death to the dead. When has a man seen 
and done too much. As a soldier, a leader, a father. Down with tyranny. Justice prevails. If we are to survive, there is much to do, and survive we shall. For the record, beyond that door, Captain Pennington was tried and executed for his crimes. We did what was needed. The story you tell is up to you. I would have also told her that her uh, boyfriend isn't the nice guy. Oh, maybe there is a confrontation. Looks like the nightmare's curse is lifted here. Job done. A job done indeed. Rest at the four. We're going to uh, do exactly that. And then it's time for uh, the next step in this journey. Potentially the last one, if we have now gotten all three major things in order. Before we're resting though, let's do a couple of things. Oh, ooh, level up, I like it. Holy, even more stuff. Fusion, and here can merge with Reed to deal increased damage for a short period of time. No way. Okay. Okay. Good. So, what do we have? Defeating an enemy uh, with a charge heavy attack. Uh, refills the banish, Gorge. Then we got when banish Gorge is filled. Next, damage taken is reduced by 90%. Um, That's great. That's another good one. Okay, cool. Damage taken uh, reduced by 15%. Cooldowns are increased. That's fantastic. That's good. I like patient. Ooh, that's not bad either. Believe me, uh, AoE damage super good. Yeah, I think we're taking AOE damage. All right, um, hitting an enemy with and here. Uh, manifestation cooldowns by one second. That's good, I like it. Hmm, that's not bad either. That's a difficult choice. I like haste because you're getting your cooldowns back much faster, but we already do have that but it would uh, make it even faster. Hmm. I think I tend to do uh, to go for haste, although this here is tasty. I like 90% damage reductions, as you know by now. This isn't bad either. Yeah, no, that, that is good. The leap uh, and stuff is fantastic. That is good. Double entangle. Ah, that is better. 5% health. Oh, that is awesome. This and this, great sustain. And sustain is what this game is all about. This is good as well. This isn't bad either. Holy, they, uh, they have the really good abilities now. Hmm. I think this isn't uh, bad because that's great for big, um, uh, for bigger enemies. But this here, that is really good. But that's good as well. 
Uh, increased spirit points increased, banish points increased. Uh oh. Nah, no, 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 no. That's not a good deal. That is a good deal. Purgatory. Defeating an enemy affects all ensnared enemies. No, oh, wait. Defeating an enemy affected by ensnare applies ensnares to all surrounding enemies. That's not bad either. Uh, yeah, hard to tell. Man, so many good things. Uh, is the game going on for a couple more levels is the question. I mean, we got ourselves a very, very nice uh, set of skills so far. I have zero skills left over at the moment. Um, what's the least important thing here? Leap into... What do we need, by the way? No, that's just spirit points. Uh, let's let's leave it as is, because currently we're good. So, what now? What did Ceridian say when we first met her? Once we'd weakened the Nightmare's influence, we could use the Void to enter its lair. Deborah's grip on the settlers has diminished. We'll return to Ceridian's island. From there, the Void Breach will take us back to New Eden Town. Just like that, eh? Well, yes, just like that. Something bothering you. But aren't we rushing things a little? We've lost too much time already. We have a nightmare to confront, remember? Sometimes I hate the world. Another free woman, bright, sensitive, kind, murdered by a craven rabble too weak to face its own mediocrity. Cowards hiding behind fake virtue. And for what? They won't even say her name. Why? Why her? They know no better. They know only fear and hate what they cannot understand. Especially when a woman is involved. It matters not now anyway. A woman died for nothing and it matters not? What matters is what we do now. Which wrong we set right. I've taught you well. When I left Cuba, anything could have befallen me. I was bright, free, talented. Though I had the wrong tongue, the wrong sex, the wrong skin. I defied life. I expected so much more from the world. I was arrogant. Arrogant to believe I needed no one. To shut out my mother. And experience curandera. And listen instead to my sister. Your childhood friend. What happened? I had little and wanted more. A dangerous thing when you have our type of talent. Anything could have befallen me, but it didn't. But something did happen. Something happened to Deborah, and then something happened to you, and now... Now we are both paying that price. You still have your life. What's it worth if it's played by the murder of all those I killed? We made a choice, Rory. You made it willingly. Aye, I did. Look, all this is a lot to endure. We're both exhausted. I know I am. I cannot tire. I know. I know how hard it's been for you. You have no idea. None at all. I'll do my best to understand, if you'll let me. We should have faith. Look at us. We'll get to where we're going. Shut up, Red. Shut up. This isn't about... This isn't about what we have conquered or what we have achieved or how far we have journeyed. Look at us. Look at me. I loathe what I've become. Can't you see that? I was trying to help. <laughs> I'm sorry. 
stop apologizing. Good night. Normally the writing in this game was good, the dialogues were sound, but that was not a very uh, good dialogue. I get it, they are frustrated, but what they were uh, saying makes no sense, and personal pet peeve... Antea. Antea. Personal pet peeve, the whole... I'm gonna go with you. ...skin color, uh, and... Not funny. And ...sex issue was just to walk unnecessary to, to bring in the island. Well, uh, typically I want to end on a high, uh, high note. I think uh, it's not, it was not the worst uh, dialogue uh, generally, but it was not the brightest either. Um, we'll cut a T here for now and we'll find out uh, what we want to do next. There is quite a bit of kind of leveling options, but I also don't want to drag this out into the very, very end game. The idea is not to have like a full playthrough with all of the options, but to actually play through the base game. So if we can go to New Eden and uh, face the nightmare, I feel confident that with the strengths of our character, we can do that. So here we're going to take uh, the break and we're going to be back the next time. Thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoyed uh, the mines, uh, leave a comment uh, and a like down below. Try to dig at uh, that like button for some valuable ore and you might be successful. Thank you. Have a good one and bye bye.